You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by TryTreats.com for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. I am on my final box for this month in the monthly subscription boxes. This one here is from TryTreats.com. And uh, I don't know. I like doing these boxes for you on video. It's kind of different to be able to try all those different things and never really have any repeats, which is amazing. I was looking in the playlist for the subscription boxes, and I think I, well, after this video, might have almost 60 videos just on subscription boxes. Now, those are not all food, by the way. We used to do the, um, well, other boxes that were not subscription boxes. I'll say that. Okay, here we go. Try treats. Explore the world through food. Let's see where in the world this time I'm going to explore with you on video. Here we go. Let's see. Ah, Italy. Very nice. This month's treats come from Italy, a beautiful country known for its cuisine, fashion, sports cars, and for being home to some of the greatest artists and designers in the world. Italy is a country with a tradition of craftsmanship, and this tradition can be observed in the superb quality of treats they produce. Your box this month contains a selection of some of the finest treats Italy has to offer. You will find traditional Italian cookies made with traditional recipes, alongside contemporary favorites like the Kinder Bueno and incredibly delicious chocolate-covered hazelnut wafer. Italians love hazelnut with their chocolate. You will also discover unique treats like candy that will fizz in your mouth, chocolate in the shape of a hamburger, and more. There's something to spot for everyone. We can't wait for you to dig in and try these treats. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Bon appetit, the treats team. All right. Okay, so let's let's take this out here. So now you can't see right away everything's in here. Now, I've had some of these. Not all of them. I've had this. I've had this. I don't think I've had that. I've had Zots. I did not know that was an Italian candy. So here we go. I will move this out of the way. Well, actually, here's what I'll do. I'll be right back. I'm going to take all this out of the box. I'm going to go down the list and try all these treats. All right, here we go. The first one I had recently shown you on video. It is the Kono Snack Choco Parties. It's a candy, like a ice cream cone with chocolate, which was really good. There is some nutritional facts and other information there. Choco, and there's the ingredients. Delicious wafer cones with caramel cream and colored mini candies. Ooh, so it's going to have that. And there it is on the outside. I'm pretty sure I had this one. I know there's other versions of it. Yes, I think I did. Ooh, look at that. They're like little Smarties on top, also known as M&Ms here in the USA. I have to try it again. I just remember this being a very nice, rich, tasty chocolate. I'll bite it. I'll bite the whole top off. That was a big bite. Mm. Just like I remember. Okay. Next on the list is the Choco Burger. Well, this chocolate, when you chew that, it sticks all inside of your mouth, almost like a fudge. So I'm going to take a sip of some beverage just to kind of rinse. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I can't show you that. Well, I can show you that. What does it matter? That's everything. You can read it. Choco Burger is a chocolate hamburger which contains an outer layer of chocolate and an inner layer of, and an inner layer of chocolate and hazelnut cream. Choco Burger, I never knew this existed. Made in Italy. Not much to make out there because it's really hard to see being so tiny. Does it look like a burger? I guess. It's kind of like a burger shape. Here. I'll find out. So it's as dark on the inside as on the outside. Mmm. Little crispies in there. Just as creamy as the last one. It's all so rich. All right, now, I've had these candies before. This is what's next. Let me move my choco burger. You know how hard it is not to eat that? I have to kind of, you know, not eat everything. A groomy candy by Mangini. A groomy candy by Mangini 
Magini, or they have it spelled two different ways here. So if I get it wrong, it could just be the way they spelled it. Let's see. M-A-N-G-I-N-I. -N -I. They have it spelled here, M-A-G-I-N-I. -I. Are citrus flavored hard candies. They're absolutely delicious, which they are. Mm. Hey, with all that ingredients, I'm on Italian restaurants. These treats are favorites for kids and adults alike. Really tasty now. It doesn't look like what you're eating. It's got a double layer on it. So it's kind of like a almost off-white. Mmm, those are good. The next one. Mini Cantuccini. Let's see. Traditional Tuscany Biscotti Biscuits. They are made with all natural ingredients with no added colors or preservatives. They can be enjoyed on their own or paired with a cup of coffee or milk. Mmm, sounds tasty. I wish I had coffee. When chocolate meets a traditional bakery from Tuscany, these little sweet tooth masterpieces are born. Ooh, the little sweet masterpieces. They're just, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, cool. Don't think I've ever had. It reminds me of like the Jiffy Pop kind of. I'm guessing you just pull. Yeah, there you go. And look at that, a little crunchy, like a biscotti. A biscotti, how do you say? Mmm. Yeah, this would be good. Super crunchy, as you can tell. And very hard. And tasty. Not too sweet. There's definitely a lighter sweetness to it. Let's see. This, I believe, is bachi. Let's see. Exquisite Italian chocolate with all layer of rich dark chocolate surrounding an inner layer of chocolate and hazelnut filling. All right, here we go. More chocolate and hazelnut. There's a little opening there. Ooh, and it's wrapped up. Looks like a delicate morsel, doesn't it? Definitely darker than the other chocolates I've tried. And it's loaded with crunchy nuts. And the filling is a little lighter in color. Mmm. Very tasty. Rich and creamy chocolate. There's not much more you can say. What are these? Classic Italian Puff pastry. Sticks with butter. Mmm, that's a big package. Here's a little information. In 1905, Matilda v Vicenzi opened her first pastry shop on the outskirts of Verona, where she carefully made her biscuits and pastries with passion. And there's the family right there. Look at that. On a white couch. Well, if you want to read that whole thing... There you go. Could be an interesting story. Pause and enlarge that. I gotta move on because I have to try all these snacks in a certain amount of time. Look at that. It looks very nice and glossy on the top. Very light. I would want to drink something with this. Does it say in the story? It's so light and fluffy that you don't want to breathe in because that'll get into the back of your throat and you'll probably choke on it. You don't want to do that. Mmm. Crispy light with a little sweetness. Not a ton of sweetness there. All right, Zots. Who had any idea this was Italian? I've had these many times in videos. They're hard candy with the fizzy stars, and it looks like an ordinary hard candy, but once you put it in your mouth, it will start fizzing at its center, dissolves into your mouth. Mmm. Any idea? I didn't, never knew that this was from there. I've had plenty of Zots, but here, I'll show them to you. And it is a hard candy, but guess what? I bit right through it. Ooh! Sour and fizzy. All right. Whoa, wait. 
I'm going out of order. After Zots is this. And they give me some big packs. This pack and this pack, that's a lot of snacking. So there is plenty to enjoy numerous times in this package. Another story for you. Oh, same story. Same family on the white couch. There's all their social media. Hey, if you get a chance, you know, go to their social media and say, Lucky Penny Shop. Check out one of your products on video. Then link them to the video. Let's see if they notice. Someone out there, please do that. Product of Italy. This is... These are lady fingers made with only the finest eggs and flour. These lady fingers are often used as ingredient for tiramisu. Oh, that makes sense. I wonder if they could have put a, put a giant tiramisu in here. That would be a fun snack to get. All right, so you have a nice sugary, lots of sugar on this side. Barely any on that side. Here we go. This to me needs something to soak into. Hence why it's used for tiramisu, right? Here's a Ferrero chocolate. I believe I've had these on video too. Exquisite hazelnut chocolate treats made with an all-layer of milk chocolate. Wow. I have to say, this box is just loaded with rich chocolate, so my teeth are screaming to me. But look at that. It's like a little planet. A crunchy planet that I get to eat. There's some ingredients. There's another Facebook page. Hit them up. Actually, a few companies recently have noticed I made a video of their stuff and mentioned it on social media, so maybe they will. Those are really good. I just got to break one open for you just to show you the inside. I'll cut this here. Look, I got to use something a little sharper than normal, but that's what's inside. Look at that. It's like eyeballs. Hazelnut eyeballs. Mm -hmm. He's gonna eat me. Pure liquid honey inside every drop. Milk and honey filled drops. Are drops that contain a hard honey flavored outer layer, inner layer of creamy honey and milk filling. Here we go. Product manufactured in Italy. They are right. I don't know if my teeth are ready for another crunchy candy like the fizzies. Ooh, my teeth. But here we go. I think I can handle them. Look at that. Now, there's been a lot of videos where I just bite something, a hard candy, and people say, that's not how you're supposed to eat it. Yeah, I know, but you don't want to listen to me eat a hard candy for 10 minutes. So I just have to bite it. Trying to get the sensation of the milk inner filling, which come through. Mmm. Now you get like that milky flavor, which kind of shines through the caramel flavor or the honey. And it's sticking to my teeth. Mm-hmm. It is hard to chew. All right, last one. The Quinder Bueno. Quinder, Quinder Bueno. Kinder snack wafers. Oh, wait. Oh, I missed one. Yeah. There's two more. Oh, I should have done this one before the Ferreros, so. Two individual seal plastic sleeves so you can eat one and save the other for later. Again. Milk and hazelnut. I have to think about that. What American snacks have hazelnuts in them? Can you think of one? You can't. Not offhand. There is 
a host of information, nutritional, times two. So they're individually wrapped, so I can keep one in and one out. They don't want to pull out as easy as I thought they would. Pretty neat packaging. Look at that. It's got the little chocolate streaks on the top. Let me cut it open. Looks like they'll break right there, too. Hmm. Almost looks like they're puffy. Yeah, ooh, look at that. It's like a puffy creation in there. Here, I'll put it next to the eyeballs. And that, that'll be his nose right there. He's looking at you. Very interesting. It is super soft when you bite it. And that was his eyebrow. It was super soft when you bite it, and it's really creamy. It's a soft, even softer than peanut butter, but it's good. Last one, Snack Wafers by Balocho. They are light and thin wafers with a crispy texture, composed of dual layers of wafers. Well, he needs a mouth, so let's see if we can get a mouth out of this. Here's the back. I try to hold it as steady as possible. The best thing about YouTube is you can pause and enlarge the screen size and supersize it and then read it in fine detail. Okay, that's a nice mouth. We'll give him a wafer mouth. But he needs this. Look at his eyeballs up there. Here, let me do that again. Take a better bite. There's his mouth. Hmm. There's his nose. See, he looks happy now. There. I made a little chocolate pan. In the last box video, I said, we don't have a lot of, a ton of different kind of wafer cookies or wafer products here in the USA. There's some, but I think there's more around the world, for sure. All right. There you go. I did it. Chocolate man. In the Try Treats box. And thanks again for watching the video. Here is more information from them. For sharing. Maybe you can enter to win. And here's everything I just ate. I would say probably one of the richest, creamiest tasting boxes I have ever done. The Snack Box from Italy. And thanks to them for sending this to me. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more... Look in that description of a link there. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.